You know what I'm going to do to you, Walmart? I'm going to tear you limb from limb. Sky, douche. Joey Moss, Bad Boy Gaming. $192.39. Oof, 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 oof. I need to recoup that right now. Are you ready? Let's do that. This is a fun little game. My money's on the line. Let's see what happens. Oh my goodness. All right, we're going to start with this. Oh gosh. I did go to a few Walmarts in order to find this stuff. And by the way, I found six of the Commander Cubes. I don't know if there's a restock. I don't know if this supply was just chilling and no one picked it up. It was at a Walmart that I really don't go to very often. It's like seldom that I go to that Walmart. So maybe they were just sitting there. But then again, like if you live near me, I mean, people go out and try to get this stuff all the time. So maybe there was a restock of the Commander Cubes. Or I was talking to Dave, good old big box Dave, anti-G attitude. And uh, we had a little phone conversation and I told him maybe it's a restock or maybe it's a new wave. But if it is a new wave, it's in the same packaging. But maybe they put some different stuff in there. So we're going to find out. But I got six in total. I'm just doing one for myself in this. And then we're going to have a five-way battle with patrons. And, uh, yeah, winners are going to take all. There's Herbrask's Forge Foil Black Cleave Cliffs. Okay, this isn't the worst draft booster pack I've seen. Okay. There's definitely worse out there. This isn't too bad. We're keeping all the commons and commons together. Uh, I'm going to price any common, uncommon over or $1 and up. And uh, also... All rares, mythics, you know, they're always factored in. Oh, gosh, guys. Fingers crossed. All right. We have quite a bit to go through here, but, man, this is this is fun. I like doing these, but I already know I'm, I'm not the sharpest tool in the shed by, by paying these prices. I'm paying retail. I'm basically paying for the lights to be on and the heat, you know? So there you go, for, like, Walmart. <laughs> that, that's, that's what you, you pay when you pay the big box, the big box uh, prices, especially with the trading card games. It's, like, ridiculous. Kaya, intangible slayer. Sure. We got an island. Okay, okay. And a kitty cat. Not going to cut it, man. Not going to cut it. I got a little kitty that keeps uh, wandering about my, uh, my property. It's, it's pretty cute. I catch them. Um... Catch them on camera here and there. Very, very cute. And I also have a groundhog. It's it's insane. I know. I, I didn't know they were in Ohio. And then I just think of that movie Groundhog Day. All right. Ooh. Shrove's Hive. I mean, that's, that's something. I don't think it's bell-worthy, but that is something. And uh, today's the day also that I'm going to make that donation over to Berea Animal Rescue, uh, better known as ARF. We were able to raise $750 on Patreon. That is amazing, uh, considering M30, man. Not many people wanted it. <laughs> so a lot of very generous patrons out there. Thank you so much. Let's do this, baby. Infinity Draft Booster. These were $4.99 a pop. What you just saw me open was $12.48 for that uh, three-pack draft of Phyrexia All Will Be One. Okay, I cannot recall any prices on this product. It's 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 been quite some time, but that 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 wolf looks cute. Okay, here we go. We know what we need here. We need the crazy lands, man. Angelic Herald, trapeze artist. I mean, a lot of these cards are fun, but are they really? Blue ribbon. You are number one. Ooh, who's the number one comment? I'm gonna definitely uh, give you the number one in the comments. All right, planes. I got a planes guy. Drop tower. Oh, I get so excited and then just my hopes are bursted. That planes might be worth something. All right, fortune teller. I wish I knew my fortune. Then again, no. I think that would drive me crazy. I don't know. What do you think? Would you want to know your fortune? Would you want to know your future? Yeah, well, that's a really good question. All right, clown robot and ancestral hot dog pig sticker dudes. We got some stickers. I thought that was a donkey from like Winnie the Pooh for a second. I don't know. All right, so that was a terrible pack. I only got Infinity uh, in, in high hopes, guys, that, that we pull a shock land, you know. But probably not going to happen. Crazier things have happened, though. We do have the panic button ready to go in case we don't open anything decent out of here. 
Because right now, um, we, we need a prayer. Uh, that's that's a threatening kind of card right there. I'm not sure how I feel about that. There's a planes. Okay. What would I do? We just pulled one. A different kind of planes, though. Scavenger hunt. Those are fun to go on. We were going on those as a kid. Guess your fate. Okay, again, back to the fortune telling thing. Yeah, um, especially you who never comments. This would be a good video for you to chime in. All right, gosh, guys. That did not look so good. Not look so good. And I want some feedback. You guys liking the videos lately? Like, I, I've definitely uh, stepped up the content uh, and effort applied in my videos. So, um, I, I just hope it's noticed. That's all. All right, here we go. Clowning around. I'm the, I'm the king of that. All right. Common, con I don't think there's any comments worth anything in this on set. All right. Autograph book. Fun times. Line prancers. Sure. Black hole. Black hole song. Won't you come and wash away the rain? I can never do that song justice. Chris Cornell. Rip, man. But wow, what an amazing vocalist. Holy crap, man. Legend. Island. Foam weapons kiosk. Merry-go-round and a foil spinny ride. What would he do? Nobody cares. Yeah, okay. Clown robot and ah, oh, still nothing. Spinny rides are common. That's not gonna be worth a darn. All right, we'll put that in the who cares pile. All right, so this was twenty dollars. We flushed down the toilet. I know sometimes there's like crazy variants. Is there a pull tab on this? Maybe we were just weren't pulling the pull tab, and that's why. This is the silliest thing ever. Card companies, sports cards, trading cards, everyone does it. Don't. No one opens a pack like this. There's not many out there. That kind of made it a little easy, though, but I don't know. It's be something to get used to. Okay. All right. Foot and mouth. All right. Now you see me. Now you don't. Here we go, baby. It all comes down to this. The Space Family Goblinson. Sure. Goblin Battle Astronauts. Killer Cosplay. This was one of the more sought-after cards. And if I'm not mistaken, some of these are actually legal in Eternal formats, which is nuts. Killer cosplay. There you go. Yeah, Hans, run. Get the camera. He's adorable. Yeah, that's cute. All right, we did get a Mythic. That's cool. Um, It's probably a dollar now. Forest, beautiful art on this one. Dart throw. Oh, man. Oh, oh, no. You know what that felt like? Gift shop? No way, it's not. Is it? Is it? Is it really? Oh, Freaking tease, man. It's just the planes, guys. In a gift shop. <sighs> I bet the shock lands make the cardboard taste terrible. Got a squirrel and a wrinkly monkey shenanigan. Okay, that is a very beautiful, beautiful looking land right there. But it's uh, not what we were hoping for, man. All right, so this so far has just been a debacle. Is that an appropriate term for this? Nobody knows. All right, guys, here we go. Why is Dart Throw up here? Because it's that pathetic. Okay. Four ninety nine. Time man. Twenty bucks flushed down the tubes. Here we go. Phyrexia all be one. I'm gonna try to speed this up a little bit. Sorry. We're seven packs in, but man, we are doing some damage here. I don't think that's enough packaging. Wizards, really? I think you shorted us on the packaging here. Anyone else agree with that? You know, maybe? All right, that was for you, Wizards. Here we go, baby. Can we get a pull tab? Oh, yes. This set is so killer, man. Like, this this set made me happy in pants. And here's my theory on this. So, Wizards basically uh, has been told, and, and it's, 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 common, it's common knowledge, you know, that when they put out sets standard sets they've been pretty nerfed you know like the power level is usually down but there's always a few cards that like shine bright like a diamond right well that doesn't sell boxes so my thoughts and they've been hearing this for a while you know and standard is basically dying at, at local game stores i'm sorry to say that i mean it's basically dead right does anyone play standard and, and participate in tournaments at their local game store maybe phyrexia all be one brought some life back to that but really did it i don't know I haven't really uh, done all the research on that, but if that is the case, maybe that's why, or it, you know, like the tournaments are down, everything, who cares, and they're all about commander, push, 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 maybe, just maybe, call me crazy, I've said some very, very wild things on this channel that end up being true down the road when time comes to pass, but just maybe, Wizards is like, all right, 
let's just give the people what they want. Let's just up the power level and standard. So are we going to see increased power level, which is going to in turn be increased value in our standard sets? If that is the case, we're going to have a wild ride, man. And uh, Magic will be worth purchasing uh, standard again, you know, like a sealed box. Because, wow, we've seen boxes tank to like $50, $60. That's insanity. Furnace Punisher, whoop a do And for a standard set, yeah, it makes sense, but no, it doesn't make sense. You don't spend 110 bucks at your LGS and then in three months, you know, due to overprinting or just a weak-ass set, your box is worth 50, 60, 70 bucks. Like, you know, it just shouldn't be like that. There's glistening sphere, Phyrexine Arena, hot dogs. We're going to need some saving grace here. Oh, come on. Come on, baby. Come on, daddy. Oh, Michael Smith Gardens in foil. A little, little uh, Pringle action. Not too bad. Not too bad. Pretty cool foil. Uh, is that it? This pack is like all over the place. I don't even know what to make of this. There's a foil that we'll put over there. Foil planes, uh, viral spawning. Or Shoulders Addict and Foil, maybe two bucks. Okay. The Old Cultivator, Duress, Molten Rebuke, and the Let's Conviction. Okay. So, yeah, let me know your thoughts on that one, too. I mean, this is like open discussion day, you know? Dominaria Remastered. I don't remember if these were $34.99. I bought these a while ago. I've been sitting on these uh, Dominaria Remastered collector packs for like a week or two, something like that. But I don't see them that often when I'm out. I really don't see the Phyrexia all be one that often. So I know they did a restock of these at um, at the Walmarts because I, I checked the one like a week ago and they weren't there. And then they were there uh, this morning. So today is what, Friday? Is it Friday? Wow, time flies. Today is Friday, guys. Here we go. Dominaria Remastered. What a sick set. Give me a retro foil. Birds of Paradise. I'm a simple man. All right. Oh, Leonard Skinner. Another rip right there. Goblin, four days ago. Four days ago, man, he passed. That's crazy. It's like the founder of that band, man. It's nuts. All right. Arcanus the Omnipotent. Oh, what else we got? God, that was not the blue card we want to say. Helm of Awakening. I'm so nervous right now. All right. Panic button is enabled. Oh, gosh. Here we go. About to get. I'm just going to throw it all away. Last chance. This is our last chance to recoup some value. Here we go, baby. Here you go, baby. I mean, this could happen to you if you go out and purchase this stuff. Oh, boy. All right. Um, yep. Panic button is enabled. Uh, the value is not looking so hot. That's a Lotus Blossom Cool. Nice little mine stone there. It's not going to cut it. Beautiful, though. I do really like the Retro Frame Artifacts. Frantic Search. Okay. Juggernaut. Nothing. That Foil Swamp is still gorgeous. I'm curious on the pricing. Pretty cool. I'll take it. Nice little swamp. Call of the turd. Herd. Call of the herd. Nature's lore. Invoker. Phyrexian Rager. Croson and Invoker with frantic search foil in the end. Oh boy. Guys, we have not really had any standout hits yet. And, um, you know, hit the like button if you like watching me suffer. Oh boy. We're going to get a thousand likes on this video real quick. Phyrexia. All will be won yet again. All right. We're going to tear into this fast. And then we're just going to see what commander deck we have. So I'm not going to go through all the cards. Unless it's like a really good commander deck, then, you know, we might. But odds are it's going to be a $22 to $35 commander deck we pull. Uh, maybe. If we're lucky, there's not enough packaging. So much stuff going on there. All right. Phyrexia, I'll be one, please. Probably. Oh, my God. Don't steal. Bad things will happen to you. Drop the soap. Bubba gonna elope. Here we go, baby. Oh, we need something massive, man. We need something massive. Whew. There are big hits in both of these sets. So, yeah, there's that. Okay, here we go. We got the Rebel. Evolving Spinal Derm. Come on, Daddy needs a new pair of shoes. Not really, but kind of. All right, Evolving Spinal Derm. Evolved. Okay, yeah. <laughs> They come to see the funny bomb. Woo -hoo, hee -hee, hoo -ha -ha. Not a fan of this art whatsoever, but man, that is a really cool card that definitely needed a reprint with this set. Uh, yeah, there's Vorinclex, Monstrous Raider, BEA Beautiful. That 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 felt good. Panic button, you just got a little further away from us. Okay, that felt so good. That's like a card I can sleeve. Yay. Furnace Punisher. 
I still really like these complete foils. Those are nice. Okay. Scampy's Thrummy Bird. Kenzu of the Black Coven. I'm happy right now. That that monstrous raider, that might have us at like 90 bucks in value now. Who knows? Call me crazy. Venerated Rob Priest. Okay, this card should never have been printed, by the way. They should have made it a two drop. I'm not kidding. One colorless and one green mana. Um, am I wrong? This thing's pretty busted, man. Yeah? No? Yeah? Okay. If you can't deal with it, we'll see ya. We'll see ya. We'll see ya. Nice venerated. Uh, Kemba, not not not, uh, not the best, but Kemba's not bad. I, maybe, eh, okay, travel action. Gotta show some love. There's our Phyrexian Swamp. Awakening the Sleeper. Awaken the Sleeper. Okay. Assimilation. Prophetic Prism. Crescendo. I like that name, Crescendo. Infectious Inquiry and Leonin. Okay. I don't I have no complaint right now. So far I'm I'm pretty tickled pink. You know? You know, and, and, and honestly, like I, I'm not even pink. Well, some might say I am, you know. I don't know. Like I guess there was some pink there. Okay. Fair. Alright, here we go. Oh, come on, man. There are so many sweet hits we could get. I have yet to pull myself a really impressive card out of Dominaria Remastered. And um Dominaria, man, really takes me back to the saga days and all that stuff. So very, very um cool set. Let's see what we get, man. Yeah, like till the whole yeah, Urza everything days. Maybe we get an Urza. That would really that, that would make my day. That would make my day. All right, we got an elephant. Oh gosh. Oh, you freaking kidding me, dude. Oh boy. Oversold Cemetery. Here we go, baby. Rift the Awakener. Oh wow, did we get thrusted bad here? Oh my god. Oh. I even hate this guy. That's the dude that cut off Urza's head. Oh my god. It just keeps getting worse for us, guys. Oh, frantic surge, Tormod's crypt, planes. Oh my god. These piles don't even matter to me anymore. We got a plane. Elvish Spirit Guide. Maybe maybe 250. Hooray. Dark Withering. Werebear Boost. Z lot. Oh my gosh. Honestly, I was not expecting those those four packs to be that weak. Um, but I am just thankful. We night pulled a nice Voron Clex, and I really do like that card. So I think I yeah, I have the Phyrexia, um the OG Phyrexia version of that. Which is pretty cool. I might even have it in foil. I'm not positive. Alright, ready? Uh this is either gonna be really bad or it's gonna be really good. There's no in between there's no $40 deck or $50 deck breaking even crap happening here. We're either going to get like a $20 deck or we're going to get like a $70 to $150 deck. One of the two is going to happen, and uh, I'm not voting on the latter. Here we go. Here we go. If you made it this far in the video, say, Joey, I really hope you pull something special out of that Commander Cube. That might be something. No, that, oh, 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 oh. Okay, we got the Kudrow. I cannot recall, I cannot, I honestly don't recall, guys. From 2020, though, I mean, the older, the better, usually. We will see what this one's valued at. If I cracked it open, I'd have a really good idea of its value, but we're not going to do that. But I don't remember seeing this one too much. That set symbol looks very haunting. I've seen it in my dreams. Okay, we have a foil, a Vito, Thorn of the Dusk Rose. That's a media promo. There you go. And we also have... Where did you come from? Sly Instigator. What? <laughs> that's different. Okay, that is... that is. I, I've opened 24 of these about three months ago, two months ago, four months ago. And I'll tell you one thing, I mean, Vito was pretty norm, but I have never seen this card before. Maybe they finally read out a media promos to throw in these. Or, this is like a new bundle, or new, a new batch that went out. But we will have a lot more information when I drop that next video 
Um, should be doing that one in like probably three days time. Probably Sunday's video. We'll do the um, the commander deck battle. Oh boy, guys. All right, well, hey, thank you very much for tuning in. I'm Joey Moss, Bad Boy Gaming. I hope you all have a fantastic weekend and make sure you tune in again uh, very soon. Also, there are so many exciting openings. If you haven't seen them, I highly suggest you go back and give them a look because, man, the past two weeks, we have been on fire. And I'm not just saying that because I have red hair. Okay.